What's going on? What's going on to all my embracers? This is Grace from Embrace the Grace. And as you guys know, it's Monday night, so you know what that means. We got another one. So for those of you who are here for the first time, I'd like to welcome you. And I also like to thank you for coming through and supporting and showing love. I really do appreciate that. And for you guys that don't know what my channel is all about, my channel is all about First of all, is embracing the truth, embracing your truth. And this is a place where it's okay to have the uncomfortable, awkward conversations where we have the thought provoking dialogue respectfully and no sign language. Anybody that knows me and, and knows of Kevin Samuels knows what sign language is. If you don't know what it is, you better ask somebody. So, and you can find me on Instagram, TikTok, WhatsApp, Snapchat, Facebook, and of course, YouTube. And definitely, definitely don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. So I am now going to bring up my, what seems to be my permanent co-host, which I'm very comfortable with, is my, my guy, Gary D. He has been with me since the beginning of the year, since day one. Welcome, Gary. How are you? I'm good. I'm good, Grace. I'm good. Yeah, thank you for having me here again. Absolutely. And thank you for coming. You know how you know the you know the routine. Go ahead and introduce yourself and see where we can find you because you guys, anybody that supports me, I definitely support. And any and if anybody who supports me has to support who I support. So go ahead, Gary. Tell them who you is. Good evening, everyone. My name is Gary D. Um so I am president of Boardwalk Global, Global Media. We have a couple of podcasts that we do um, every, every week. Um, my, my main podcast that I'm on is uh, The Real Discussion, which we do every Fridays from 8 to 10 p.m. Eastern time. And we have, um, we have a lot of the hard discussions too, but also we talk about a lot of the topics that are trending um, whether it's entertainment, dealing with politics, dealing with life, um, and even sometimes we have the uh, not so popular, uncomfortable discussions. Uh, we do have a relationship segment every week, which seems to go Crazy. very, very well. <laughs> um, Crazy. Um, also, I am owner of uh, ESI Global Group, which is an entertainment consulting and management company. And I have an independent artist from Australia named Baba T, who, uh, who 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 has some new new music coming out. And um, uh, if you want to find me, you can catch me on Instagram, uh, Boardwalk Global Media, or The Real Discussion. Catch me on Facebook, uh, Boardwalk Global Media, uh, or The Real Discussion. Awesome. Thank you so much for that awesome introduction. So I already have a couple um, people in here. Of course, is my girl, Grace. 
Grace, don't forget to re remind me to make you a moderator. I might as well. We we carry the same name, so you, you know you Grace number one in this in this podcast, okay, baby? And then I have um, Mr. Everything. Thank you for coming. I really do appreciate your support. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and share. So Gary, I know yeah. you already know what we what we're talking about, but. I have to let you know, I mean, yes, this conversation is something to talk about and it needs to be talked about, but it hit home. I have a son, you know, and I put myself in the shoes of the mother. By the way, the topic tonight is, is about the 31 year old teacher that got pregnant by a 13 year old boy. And the outrageous, not only is that whole concept outrageous, but the fact that she didn't even get jail time, Gary, she, I, I, I mean, between me and you, that is like total molestation, total violation. And she didn't get jail time. And it's funny, once I was doing my research, you're going to hear the foolery of why they're more lenient on women versus men. Because I, I surprise myself every week when I'm doing my research because, guys, I don't just get up here and talk my shit. I give you statistics. I give you informative information. I get my sources um, righteously, not just from all, all, you know, out my ass. But it's, it's the real deal. But I put myself in the mother's shoes of a son. And I, I swear to God, I, and, and I hate to say this, Gary, but I would have got the jail time. Because she's not going to get away with doing that to my son and think that it's okay. So with that being said, we're not going in too deep, Gary. What, what do you have to say about this and think about this? Well, uh, <laughs> um, it's definitely something that should not have happened. I mean, you know, clearly, well, there's a, there's a couple of things here. Um, there obviously was some type of, relationship going on because this wasn't just a one-time thing no um you know who told well did the mom find out like how did the mom find out right um but more so i think the this i mean it's already disturbing that you have this grown woman i think she's in her mid-30s or early 30s mm -hmm. and the child he's 13 years old so that's so having sex so that's just completely wrong and very disturbing in itself. But now to add her getting pregnant, like what the hell was she thinking? Like what? So yeah, so 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 there's there's so many things that that is wrong with that. But now uh, what's probably going to happen and from my understanding is that this woman She's probably going to sue the mother or try to sue the mother for child support or something like that, which is really well, out, which is, which is really out. Is Gary, yes. She has custody of the baby. She didn't already have the baby. She's, she, she was out in jail on bond. She didn't have the baby and she has the custody of the baby. Now I'm going to run the new segment. Excuse me. Um, if I was getting monetized for this, I'd probably get a copy strike and not get monetized. But I really don't give a shit right now because I need to we need to put this out here. Um, I probably will get a copy strike. Don't give a shit because this story needs to be told. So in the meantime, let me go ahead and start up because we're going to I'm going to run. I'm going to run the new segment and um, and we're going to play it. Because it needs to be it needs to be told. It needs to be said. People need to know this. People need to know how to better protect their children. Because this is something that's really happening out here. Give it a minute. It's loaded. Come on, come on. In the meantime, um, I'm gonna go ahead. I um statistics of course because I'm always giving you information. Do teachers have sex with their students? 
it roots are based on the power that female teachers have a control. And perhaps experience personal law feels the need for revenge, lust. A 31 year old woman who admits to Can having see it? sex with a 13 year old boy. Can you see it? Yeah, yeah. I can, I, I, I can see it. And then becoming pregnant with his. Matt Kroschel's tonight. Matt was facing sexual assault charges, but, but accepted this new plea deal to. Adam Serrano gave birth to a baby boy. She admitted to having sex with that 13 year old. The not going to identify in the story tells us she is not happy with this deal offered to a woman. She says ruined her son's life. I feel like my son's robbed of his childhood. Now he's having to be a father. He, he's a victim and He's gonna have to live with that for the rest of his life. This mother says watching her son struggle with the reality he now faces breaks her heart. What has been like for your son? Um, it's caused him a lot of depression. He's um, shut down a lot. Now she questions why this woman won't fix in time. Uh, I feel like if she was a man and he was a little girl, it would definitely be different. They would be seeking incarceration. And I feel like because she's a woman, they're not, they're having compassion for her because she was pregnant. But I don't think they take into play again. She was pregnant by a child. You know, that child was created from a sexual abuse. Under terms of the plea deal, the suspect signed off on, she'll be required to register as a sex offender. And the judge could sense her to 10 years to life of sex offender intensive supervised probation. But Serrano will avoid any jail time since the DA's office dropped the original to a lesser charge that does not come with mandatory jail time. What should other parents be looking for? Don't trust anybody. I mean, you can't trust anybody now. The victim's family says they are looking for the next steps in this case, and they'll actually ask the courts to give custody to the 13-year-old of this baby. Adam and Lindsay, what we do know is that Serana has a, a hearing coming up in May where she will learn how much probation time she'll have. Currently, Serrano has full custody of the baby. Back to you. Okay, we'll follow up on you. No sound, I can't hear you. Can't hear you. Oh, so, okay, so um, let now me I can hear you. Comment then. Sorry. Okay, N now yeah, I can I hear you. Mute. Hear I'm sorry. Okay. Okay. I was on mute. So um, Grace says this situation is so much worse than the other way around. If it was a man and a young girl, not only, not only would he be in jail, but upon his release, he wouldn't be allowed near her or the baby. And you're absolutely right, Grace, because if this was a man, not only would he be doing jail time, he'd be through, he'd be under the jail. OK, and then Grace came back and said, in order for this young boy to see his child, he's now stuck seeing the woman who did this to him. Maybe not, Grace, because they're suing for custody of the baby. And let's see how that goes. And then she was saying that she can't hear me. Yeah, my bad. I was on. I was still on. And then I can only hear Gary. So with that being said, Gary, now that I showed the, 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 mm -hmm. the story. It came out 
the re this came out because the child apparently was in therapy and the child says something to the therapist and you know by, by law the by therapist law, the has therap to report yeah. it yeah 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 so with that being said that's the only reason it came out if he wasn't going to therapy or anything we don't know if this story would have came out and it's sad it's really sad, and and and, I, and and this makes me think about my son a lot because I'm telling you, if this would have happened to my son, I would have been doing jail time, and I would have been smiling and eating honey buns and bologna mm -hmm. sandwiches for as long as I have to because you know what, this 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 is messed up. And when you see what I found about why women get leniency, you're gonna be like, wow, really? So let me just go, let me go um, a little bit more into my notes. It says here about 10% of all students experience sexual misconduct by school employees sometime by kindergarten and the time that they graduate from high school. Many prosecutors and people who work with the abuse say female teachers having sex with male students are doing just as much harm as their male counterparts who prey on girls. So in, in a nutshell, this is just as damaging to a boy than it is to a girl. And when it comes to sex crimes committed by teachers against students, it is believed that as many as 30% of sexual offenses are committed by women, the ones that are reported. So you already know that this is going to be underreported because a lot of times it looks like the guy hit the jackpot. Of course. You know, course. You know what I'm saying? I mean, so great. I, go ahead. I mean, with these cases that that make the news, there's probably 20 others that don't make that don't make the news. Absolutely. Or don't even get reported, not let alone the news. Right. Right. So this is what I'm saying. Yeah. So, you know, so so this is, is this is this is something unfortunate that that, you know, as a society we've been dealing with. Like, look, I know when I was younger, um, I, I went to a private private school and one of one of my male 12, the male principal. Uh huh. Uh, he, uh, he was touching a female friend of mine Ooh. and, um, she came and told me like what he did. And at that time we had to be, I don't know, 12, 13 years old. Right. And this man had to be like 50. And she said that how, I guess. Whatever position that he he wind up, you know, he wind up sticking his hand inside her panties and fingering her, and she had to be like thirteen years old. So, and that's just that incident that I know of personally. How many others has happened that hasn't even been talked about or even re reported? Now, right? did your friend did your friend say anything to an adult? No, she didn't say anything. No, she she didn't say anything to and anybody and 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 he repeated because I told her she needed to go tell somebody like tell her mom or something like she didn't want to do that because she was afraid she was going to get in trouble and they would think that she was she was she was she was lying wow yeah and, that, and, that and this was private school right this was private school it don't mean shit, Gary. I went to a I very, just... a very elite Catholic school in Florida, and shit. Before we was going to school, we were stopping by the liquor store and buying, <laughs> buying Cisco and putting it in McDonald's cups. Oh, Cisco! Oh my God! Yeah. <laughs> MD twenty twenty. Yep. Yeah. 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 We, we were buy an orange soda from McDonald's, halfway fill it up, then put ice, and then peach Cisco, and then the fact that the store was selling it to us. Yeah, that was the worst part. So it, it, I think sometimes kids from private school, we 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 cause kick up less than the, than the ones in public school. I agree. I totally agree. I, I totally agree. Totally agree. So then Grace said, "Y'all well, 
Yahweh didn't get jail time. I have zero faith in the judgment system. I think I'm think she's saying judicial system. Yeah. On them getting the child from her, shaking my head. And you're right. They're gonna have to prove, even though she did this, they're still gonna have to prove that she's incompetent. And then how do you prove a? Yeah, but they're not gonna right. But see, in that in the in the next case coming up, where I guess they're filing for custody, the court's not gonna give the the they're they're not gonna give the child custody. They're not going to give the, the 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 kid and his mom custody. The custody is going to stay is is going to Why? stay with. Why? What mother. makes what makes us think that she's the better parent when she? But I'm just saying it, it. More times than not, it doesn't happen. The system it always rules in favor of the mom. And and that's something that needs to be changed. And the only ones that can change that is y'all men. Y'all men are the ones that are going to have to start kicking up dust, making sure y'all vote these fuckers out of office, you know, and, and making noise, making noise. Because, unfortunately, this world was built by men and is going to have to be either destroyed or fixed by men. Because, obviously, nobody else can do it. And, and it's sad. And maybe if enough women back up the men they'd have, you know, they have more reinforcements. And my goddaughter is, thank you, baby. She said, I hate that the system is double standard. If it was a man, he'd be under the jail. Oh, absolutely. The world we, I, live, the world we live in is freaking nuts. You, Baby, you don't have to tell me this. That's why I say, hold on tight to that baby boy you got. Because before, it only used to be girls that would get molested and touched. But now, all bets are off. It's either a girl, a boy. But then I, I think that even back then, it was happening, but it was never talk, talked about, right? Now, we're hearing this. I don't think this is something that just happened, right? I think it was something that has always happened, but now it's, it, things are starting to come out, right? And, mm -hmm. and, and, and um, I saw an interesting statistic the other day about how the rise of single, single, single women, and uh, the women that have issues with, I don't know, their marriage or what have you, which to me, that shouldn't matter. If you're a teacher, right? And me as a parent, you know, have my, have my child go into your class, you're supposed to teach, right? Do what you're supposed exactly. to do. Now you're- Exactly. You got all these other things happening trying to, seduce and lure my child, right? I mean, I think there was one case where uh, the I teacher went uh, and got fort Fortnite, right? She went and got the, the video game so the student could come by her house and play. Like, what kind of shit is that? Like, who does that? Like, who thinks of that shit? Like, you're a teacher. Well, we're going to find out what with the information that I got, hold on, hold on. Go ahead. And okay, so we, it says 30% of sexual offenses are committed by women. These teachers want to be seen as cool or hip. And their conversations about or with students are often inappropriately personal. They need to leave their goddamn home life out the door, come in and teach and do their job and then go back home, I'll get some therapy. But taking it out on our children is a no-no. And Grace said here, men and women with good sense working together against simps and 304s. It, it, she, you're right, you're absolutely right. It, it, it's just like there's a spiritual war going on. There's a war going on between men and women, women and children, men and children. I, I mean, we see it every day. They're grooming our kids in school now in sexual ways and starting with the, and starting with their minds. Absolutely. My son, best friend's mother, emailed me a class that their child, that my, our kids were taking. And she was like, I need you to sign the petition to remove this class out of the curriculum. Gary. The class was about how to eat ass. 
Why are we teaching? Why are we teaching? Now, he was in the uh, ninth grade, 10th grade. Why are we teaching our 13 and 14 year olds how to eat ass when we should still have home economics classes? Exactly. Right. And right. Right. Remember when we had shop, when the boys Mm -hmm. would go to shop and the girls would go to home ec? That's right. That's right. You know, we need to have financial literacy classes. You know, I remember one day I went to the bank and this young man didn't even know how to write his rent check out. He didn't know how to write on a check $2,200. Just basic life skills. But you want to teach him how to eat ass. I'm sorry, but I can't embrace that. I can't. Uh, And I refuse to. It's it's very backwards. Because even back then when we had sex education class, it was nothing like what's going on now. No, not right, it was at all. Nothing like what's going on now. Now it's it, the the you have these kids that are yeah 12, 13, 14 years old that are, that are that that well let me even back up the the it's either the principal or the school board that's approving this curriculum right so and that's where the problem is like and I think parents. They need to take it up with like either this principal or the school board to say like this is unacceptable. Like, you know. Yeah, but who the hell is voting these people on the school board? That's my this thing will, too. And see, well, the, and this is where local elections matter, right? Pay attention to local elections, who your local officials are running, because these fucking crazy ass motherfuckers wind up get because of people not coming out on vote. We get the assholes that wind up on these school boards and in these uh, positions in city mm-hmm. council, council that approve that kind of bullshit. Mm-hmm. And just like, I mean, I'm not putting no, I'm not throwing no salt in the LB, QTB, I don't even know how to say community, <laughs> but there are just some things that need to be left until the a young mind has the mental capacity to put a g- grasp on it. You, you know, they get a whole month to celebrate. You got you got all the stores in rainbow colors. I I think that we're planting seeds in children's minds that are not even there at a very young age. Let them decide on their own. Let that shit unfold and develop on its own without somebody pushing them, you know? I just had a conversation. I just had a conversation about an hour ago on what you were just saying, where, Mm -hmm. um, you know, when it comes to all this LGBTQ stuff, when it comes to there's certain things that children should not see, Mm -hmm. right? They should not see. And now when now, depending what state, that child is, once they turn 18 or once they turn 21, then they could do whatever they want before. But anytime before that, they're a fucking child. Right? And as a parent, you raise them on how you're supposed to raise your child. And all this LGBTQ and sexualized and all that, no, fuck no. Yeah. I had, I thought I was going to have the homosexual conversation with my son when he was 12. I actually had to have it when he was eight Mm -hmm. because we were watching the news together and he saw it on the news when same sex marriages were being legalized. And look, I am proud of the way I have taught my son because I even asked him, Jay, (laughs) in your health class, did I cover everything that your teacher covered? He was like, yeah, mom, pretty much. You missed one thing. I'm like, what was that? He's like, well, you missed a segment about blue balls. I said, well, my bad. You know, I don't have, I don't have those. So that kind of slipped my mind. Yeah. He was like, like, well, mom, other than that, you pretty much covered everything. I didn't cover eating ass, you know, but the main thing is that I I left that out and I guess it slipped my mind because I didn't think about it because I don't need to think about that. But it made me feel good because I had taught him all of that myself. Good, and, good. And, and then my best friend at the time was a biology teacher. And she, but I gave him the information. She gave him the visual. 
Good. He busted out with the textbooks and showed him. <laughs> you, you know, so because these kids, if you don't teach them, and like Grace says right now, this is why I must teach my kids the word of God. So they'll have the discernment to recognize right from wrong and good from bad, truth from lies, especially in places I'm not with them, like school. Amen. Because nobody's a better teacher than your own mother and father. Because if you don't do it, the internet is going to do it. These knucklehead friends they got are going to do it. And these jacked up school system curriculums is going to do it. But here's what we're unfortunately dealing with. So our kids are in school eight out, what's it, seven to eight hours a day. And in that seven to eight hours, mm -hmm. now, now we could be the best parent to our child, but they're in school eight, seven to eight hours a day. So now they're their friends, right? Mm -hmm. Some of the friends may not have parents that are as strict as us, mm -hmm. right? So then you have some teachers that may not be as responsible as they're supposed to be. And, you know, and, 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 and we have some of these uh, school curriculums that's teaching things that they're really not supposed to be teaching. So that's, you know, I guess that's kind of a, a perfect, a perfect storm. So now, as, but if we have our child grounded to not to fall into that, then we're cool. But a lot of people aren't like that. You know, a lot of people, you know, you know, it, and, and, and then also, as he was mentioning, there's the in, Internet. Every child now has has a, a cell phone. Right. Um, Facebook, Instagram, uh, Snapchat, all of this shit. So. We're dealing with all of these things here, right? So it's it's kind of challenging, but it's important to try to keep our ch children as as grounded as best as as best as possible. Absolutely, and Gary, it says here that a, a teacher who commits these kinds of crimes is a weak, has a weak self image that might be attracted to a male student in her class and actually feels excited and gets butterflies. Like she's really liking a grown man when she talks to him. It's like, wow, you're actually going through all the motions as if you was talking to a grown man. And um, you know, guys, I have to say at the show, please like, subscribe, and share. You do see the cash app down there. You can donate to the, donate to the, um, to the show and support. I have a, a new, um, what is it? What is it that I needed to get? A RAM for storage? That's what the oh. fun is about. You know, okay. that's, what yeah, 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 yeah. That is, that's what it's for. And yeah, then Grace yeah. came back again and said, there's conviction and courage in the word. If their foundation is rooted in the rock of Christ, then they can and will withstand the flood of today's sinful world. You're absolutely right, Grace, but it's a shame they took God out of school. They took prayer out of school. You, you know, the presence of God is no longer visible unless you seek it. You know, I went to a Catholic school. We used to, after the national anthem, we used to say um, our father every day. Then when we used to come back from lunch, we used to say Hail Mary. E even if you wasn't Catholic, the presence of God was always around. But see, you, you know? uh, we'll see. But Grace, you you and I went to private school, and as you know, as you're saying, the morning you come in, you got to, you know you do the morning prayer, you do the prayer before lunch, and then before you go home. Like that's what we that. But you know that's in our private school. Public school is not like that. Public school doesn't doesn't they don't they don't, they don't ask that. They don't give a yeah. shit. They don't give a right they exactly. Really and then it says here, why is a female teaching sleeping with a male student perceived so differently to a male sleeping with a female student? Okay, so that brings us into the conversation is, why are they so lenient with women? Because I read a lot of information from different judges. I couldn't write everything down, so I just took 
the meat of the sandwich and I'm going to present it to you guys. Girls and women are not meant to be sexual aggressors. The idea that so many people, male and female, hold on to this is that females are not initiators of sex. They need to be persuaded into. Whereas a boy or a man are seen as the aggressor. They, they pursue and persuade. Society really thinks that all male wants sex all the time. Males who get lots of sex are praised. They're dabbed. They're fist pumped. They're hit on the shoulder by other males and seen as very masculine by other males. So you see, when a, ju- when a woman comes in front of a judge, a lot of these male judges have it in their head that they're not really the aggressors. You know, they didn't initiate this. They're, a lot of the times, they still have this idea that women are the caretakers. And if they take them away from their children, it's going to do more damage. But how is that not doing damage when you lock up the man when he's the breadwinner of of the household? Go ahead. Here's the thing. Like, so, with these, uh, with with the cases that I've seen, with the women who have um, um, sexually assaulted or had sex with students, a lot of these women are in their 30s and 40s and these students are teens, right? So, you know, so that, that definitely is problematic. But also, too, what I've also seen, or for the pictures, the pictures of the victims that I've seen, these are not these are not young boys that are that are um, that that are outgoing, right? Mm-hmm. This this is not the guy that's on the that that's that's a star on the team, right? Like right? so, these are guys that are more vulnerable. You you follow me? Mm-hmm. Because they're you know, easily persuaded. They're they're easily easily persuaded. Exactly, exactly, exactly. So. I haven't seen a story yet unless somebody out there could show me where where a teacher went and messed with the star of the uh, who the guy that's the star of the football team or the basketball team or the swim team and he's upset. Right? I've yet to see that story, right? But these kids, right? But you but with some of the pictures that I've seen of the victims, these victims are not like that. These victims are easily persuaded. They're not the, you know, the popular kid. You follow me? Mm -hmm. But on the other side of the coin, Gary, these teachers are much younger now, too. They're fresh out of college. These young girls are 23, 24, very close to the age. Because there was one case that I was going through last night where she was 23 and... She did four guys on the football team and they were actually 18, 19. And I, and, and speaking of that, um, I got it. I'm going to head and share it with you guys because it's good. She's going to talk about how she doesn't think that these kids were victimized. Give me just a minute. Press play. But Okay. I'll, I'll, I'll wait till you finish. Okay, hold on. Give me just a second. And I had everything ready. But of course, you know, I need, I, you know, guys, please feel free to do more for this laptop. Oh, I can get a new laptop. Who knows? But it needs it. But this is very important for me to show you show you the visual of what I'm trying to show you because it needs to be, it needs to be heard. It needs to be seen. So while that's thing, it, so, it also says here, um, why are so many ca- cases of female teachers having sexual relationship with their student? Okay. Number but, one, okay. these things have always gone on, but not reported. And you said Gary, remember? Yep. Can you hear? 
Okay. And then number two, if it were a commonplace, it would not be newsworthy. See, if it was something newsworthy, our society is starting to get away from a double standard. Whereas if it was a male teachers having sex with a female student, that was molestation. And finally, society is starting to recognize that for a female teacher to have sex with a male student is in fact molestation and that it is detrimental to a boy as much as to that is just starting it is just starting to be put on the forefront so imagine how many kids how many young men have been and has gone unreported it's crazy, Gary. It's absolutely sure crazy. Right. Let me I'm show sure this is... thing real quick. It's not on. Come on, baby. we can just I victimized them. They didn't feel like victims, you know, last year. They don't feel like victims now. Hold on one second. I got another one that's really good. Okay. Here, you hear what? Shocking. Yeah, said? yeah. It's not making good news. Okay. RJ TV news. I'm LRJ. One teacher made love to a group of her students, and from the sound of the audio. Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Oh, they sound kind of black. And there was football players. Looked like to me someone needed to get a chocolate fix. It's April 2011. Collips invites Erin into her home to watch a movie. Her husband and children are away. And teacher and student end up having sex. And it won't be the last time. Erin reportedly goes back at least four more times to see his teacher. But now he's not alone. On May 10th, 2011, Aaron brings three friends, all football players, to Collip's home for special dinner. <laughs> but prosecutors say they end up getting more than just a home-cooked meal. Their teacher reportedly puts on a lingerie show, pulling out sex toys, leading the four willing jocks to her bedroom. She's performing one sex act on one student, and she is simultaneously performing another sex act on another student, and she's farming out her kids for the night so that she can have four students in and engage in what is more or less an orgy. And with a simple text to a student, a star athlete in her class, Collips asks him, do you know what time our the baseball athlete. game starts? In the weeks that follow, Brittany Collips will exchange 300 pages of sexually explicit texts with that student known in court documents as Aaron. And she's telling him to skip class and come to her classroom and have a rendezvous with her. When I went to school, I gave the teacher an apple. She accepted it. Teacher don't want no goddamn apple. 
Teachers are free now. Uh, Apple, nigga. <laughs> I want some dick, nigga. You can... can you screw, nigga? You know, what man, you got nine he? inches, nigga. Get over here. Move your ass, nigga. The teacher's a freak now. Telling the football player, with all my other students, I look at them and see boys. But with you, I see a man. And then they're handed admission. I'm an anything goes in sex kind of girl. I like pulling hair, biting, scratching, spanking. I even like being choked in this particular act. Yes, yeah. pretty uh, video so graphic. They began filming. She said, "Don't shine that light in my face." <laughs> school, that steamy cell phone video is grist for hallway gossip and bragging rights. Like I was victimized in that video because I did not. I never gave my consent for it. <laughs> you know, you're older than these students. Does it? Does age matter if someone's a victim of a crime? Collips, a victim? Now she's a victim. The law in Texas Come says otherwise. Here. The first year teacher is called to the principal's office. Five days later, Collips is arrested and taken into custody. That's with any student at any age in 12th grade or below. These were 18 and 19 year old boys who seem to be consensual. Where's the crime? Who has more power in the classroom? Does the teacher have more power or does the student have more power? The teacher has more power. What part of this is inappropriate didn't you get? Well, it's not that I didn't get it. And I'm not saying that I don't take responsibility for my actions. I do. I should never be able to teach again. But she doesn't believe she should be in jail, since all the athletes she had sex with were 18 or older. Technically grown men, Collip says, who knowingly played their role in a tawdry sex game. Some people would ask, Brittany, if you wanted to have sex outside of your marriage, why didn't you turn to somebody your own age? She said that she craved that I had something that she wanted. Last month, a jury heard explicit and damning testimony. She said that she craved that I had something that she wanted. All five of the teens end up testifying, beginning with Aaron. The very first thing was when she got toys. What happened with the clothes? They came off. Everybody's clothes? Yes, ma'am. Then the defense's argument. You look excited to be there. Would that be happy to be there? Is that right? Yes, ma'am. Are they victims? Not in my opinion. They didn't feel like I victimized them. They didn't feel like victims, you know, last year. They don't feel like victims now. And they didn't want anything to happen to me either. In fact, one student wanted to testify on his teacher's behalf, says defense lawyer Lex Johnston. You feel like a victim? No, sir. You know what you were doing? Oh, no, nah. I got yeah, me some yeah. pussy, boss. Yes, sir. Do you think what she did was wrong? Morally, yeah. These were men who pursued her, took advantage of a, of a mother who separated from her husband. Wait a minute. You're saying the guys took advantage of her? Yes. We're Must be Republican. sorry for Brittany? I feel sorry for Brittany. The jury apparently did not. She did absolutely nothing wrong. Those students was wrong for videotaping her and showing everybody in school her blowing them off. They act so immature, like really. Gosh, why can these kids just grow up now? Jesus. I'm LRJ. Rate, comment, and subscribe because of you, big like you did. I love you all. So, you, so what okay. do you what do you Wait, have to say just, about that, Gary? You on, see, me, it was okay. a star. It was a star athlete. Go ahead. Go so, ahead. <laughs> all right. So first, first Go time. I'm, I'm gonna give you. I, I'm gonna give you. I'm gonna give you the whole. All right. So first, the so so the ending ending here to talk about the 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 players were wrong for videotaping. First of all, any guy knows that, as especially if you're um, on the team like that, and if something like that went down, it's bragging rights. That's what's going to happen. That's what's mm -hmm. going to happen. That's bragging rights. 
So for this dude to get on there and say, oh, that's immature, is that's some bullshit. That's bragging rights. Well, that's what, no, that's just being, the reality of it. He was being facetious. He was uh, okay, well, it, Gary. He was well, it did like, okay. Like, well, it didn't come across. All right, well, it didn't. All right, well, it didn't come across to me like that. But it's bragging rights to 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 catch it on video, and you're gonna you're gonna show you're gonna show your friends. Now, there's now 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 you have one end where let's say you you get the hot girl in the school. That's bragging rights, right? Now you get the teacher. You get a teacher. That's major bragging rights. That's just what it is. Some people not gonna like it, you know, and they're gonna think it's wrong. But that's just that's just that's just what it is. But that's now but as far that's the problem, Gary. That's an illustration if it's a girl, but it's bragging what? rights if it's a boy, and that's what, what we hope? have to break away from. But this is okay, and I hear what you're saying, but it's. Now with the with the football players, like these guys, what 17, 18, right? So that's I think that's a little bit more understandable. They're 17, 18. So clearly this woman had some freaky stuff that she wanted to get into and do. And you know, the the the, the football players were down to to make it happen. So who told, right? Who so who went out and told? It doesn't look. It doesn't sound like to me that any one of them was upset that something like that happened. No, the video like, leak. Right, but this is that's my. So when I was talking about that earlier, right, it was the teach the the most of the most of the time with the women teachers, they don't get they take advantage of of the students who are not popular who are not the athletes and stuff like that. They're a lot younger. Here in this case, they're 17, 18, and they're on the football team. Now, granted, I'm sure that there's some women that have their fantasies about that, right? But, you know, this case here is, is you know, for her to say that she's a victim, clearly she had some fantasy that she wanted to get off on. Gary, right? Um, So, but I mean, now, now, if it was the other way around, clearly the man, you know, if it was um, a man and a bunch of, and a, and and a couple of female students, clearly the man would be in a lot more trouble. Absolutely, but right. So there, there, there's definitely a double standard there. Well, we as a society have to start chipping away at this double standard if we want women to deal with consequences of their actions. And that's just it. And what's funny, okay, so these females, these feminists, feminists fight for equal rights, but I've come to notice that they want equal rights when it benefits them. Of course, well, that, but that's what it is. Equal rights is supposed to be across the board for everything. It can't oh, just be no. when you want it to How dare you? No, but no, Gary. If you're arguing right, if you're arguing equal rights, if the fight is for equal rights and the discussion is for equal rights and all the rallying and all that stuff is for equal rights, then it should be it should apply across the board, not only for when it's convenient for you. Mm -hmm. And that's why I think it's some bullshit and feminism has just destroyed a lot of things. It has destroyed the family unit. It has destroyed communities. You want to get equal pay, but you don't want to do the equal jobs. I, I don't see females digging ditches. I don't see females laying fiber optics. I don't see females working in the sewers, but they want equal pay. They only want mm -hmm. equal pay in the cushy jobs, in the C CFOs and CEOs. Man, you know what? I, I know at the end of the day, I know I'm a woman, but there's a lot of fuckery that women running around here doing and saying and acting. And and, and unfortunately, Gary, this shit all started with y'all and then y'all going to have to finish it. 
because it's it's just it's being it's 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 being torn down to ground zero. N not only with this, but with the single mother epidemic, with mm -hmm. with feminism. It's just it's just there's just no structure anymore. Our kids, and I say it every week, they're fucking lost in the sauce. They're lost. Very true. They're lo Very true. lost. And women think that they can do it all and they're Superman. I'm independent. I don't need a man. <laughs> Bitch, you run out of gas. Who's going to push your car to the gas station? Ain't no females jumping out to help you. It's going to be a man. When you call the police, 93% of the time is going to be a man that's going to show up at your house. They want to be strong and independent when it only benefits them. Exactly. Who you want to put out the fire at your house? A woman can barely hold the hose. Yeah, she can hold it, but only for so long. But men were built to be the physical vessel. They're going to hold that water hose much longer than a woman. I don't want no female coming to save me. Sorry. As big as I am, <laughs> bitch, you ain't going to be able to pick me up. It's going to be a man. Yeah. It's going to be a man. I'm going to pick your ass up. It's going to be a man that's going to pick me up. So, and that's the thing. That's another reason why these women are getting lenient in see, because they're not looked upon as predators or aggressors. Two, they're looked upon as the caretakers of children. So God forbid if a judge takes a mother away from their child to not be able to take care of them. This is the this see, these are the reasons people were asking me, well, why do women get away with shit like this? And I was reading a lot of the responses that judges were saying. They didn't want to pull the kids away from their mother. The mother is not an adequate person to be the parent. <laughs> so, you know, it's like, come on. Just because you're a woman doesn't mean you're the better parent. Yeah. And as we all know, Kids tend to thrive more with their fathers than they do with their mothers in most cases. Right. But right. they really tend to thrive better when you have both in the house, the mother and the father. But you know, that's a whole that's a whole nother topic. So we got Jay from JVJ Network and Let's Talk JVJ on the screen. How you doing, sir? What's up, girl? What's up, Jay? What's up? What's up, Jay? And what, man, look, I, hold on, I gotta get everybody's name on here. Gary, I remember your name, but the people in the chat might not remember your name. Boom, Gary up there. Okay, okay, there, there we go. go. How y'all doing? It's all good, all good, all good. There you go. We, we good. We talking about this um 31-year-old that got pregnant by a 13-year-old. And Jay, why I'm taking this so personal is because I have a son, and I'll be damned. If some itch is going to do this to my son, because I'd be the one doing jail time. I'd be the one eating bologna sandwiches and honey buns because she she got away with it, Jay. She's not even doing jail time. I know you did something on this on your on your um channel, but I take it a little bit more personal because I have a kid, a son. And if this would have happened to my son, I would I, I would have I would have been locked up. I would have been locked up because. It's just not, it's not right. But what do you have to say about this? Well, you know how I feel about it. Um, literally, I'm, I'm going to do a combination because you know I covered that video. Hold up, man. Why do I got you? Am I on here? Say something again. Testing one, two, three. Testing one, okay, two, three. Okay, no, 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 no. I just wanted to make sure you was in my ears and not on my speaker because I ain't know if, I just got back. I just got back. But, uh, I, yeah, I did the first part on, well, I did that video on the 31 year old teacher dealing with that 13 mm -hmm. year old old boy. I got something to follow that one up because I'm gonna do a, a real comparison to show you something. Because you had like a 30 some year old okay. male teacher that had intercourse with a 16 year old girl, and she would come and get in his car every day, and they would smash out, you know, get it in, bopping, bump, bumping uglies like they used to say back in the day, and they gave him jail time. So I'm going I'm to show the comparison between the two because we we have a justice system that is supposed to be blind and silent and all that, all that other whoop, whoop stuff. We have standards that are set in society and we view women a certain way and then we view men a certain type of way. The only problem is that we have started trying and, to... Now, nah, go ahead. 
Go ahead, Grace. Uh oh. And but that's just it. A lot of judges sit up there and they look at women and why they get leniency is one, because they're not really seen as the aggressors or, pers or pursuers. Two, they don't kids. Okay. And three, they don't consider it molestation. And, and that is why there's such a gap in the consequences. And I was telling Gary before you got here, this world started with y'all men. And unfortunately, the burden <coughs> to fix it is going to be with y'all men. Because women have done a mess, a mess of this. I mean, we've contributed. Yes, we have. But not like a man. Not only have we contributed, but we've shitted on it. And unfortunately, it's going to take up you guys and women like me who advocate for men to really make some change. The people we put on the school boards, the people we put in office, you know, Jay, it's just, and Gary, it's just like, there's a lot of work to be done. I mean, it starts with it. us. It starts with us by it. having the conversations, by exposing nah, nah, it, it. No, it's, it's going Go to ahead. start with the men. It's going to start with the men. And then it's going to take the second step is women accepting it. But even the fact of the men having a conversation between themselves, regardless of whether some women accept it and some women don't, we're going to set rules in place. Because hey, this is the way I would say do it. If you a man, you accept it to the man's group. You don't have to be the best man, but you have to be a man that, you know, gets up every day, goes to work, handles his responsibilities, understands that his word is his bond. If we can see that from other men that already portray that, you can come into the group. Once you're in the group, it's up to the women to accept these men. If they don't want to accept them, leave them alone. But we kind of have that structure right now because the men that are out here doing what they need to do and they can't find a woman that can get on board and get with it. These dudes are just getting their passports. Yeah. Or they're, or they're dating outside their race. Hey, look, me, or, or other look. cultures. Do men and women have always intermingled. That's why nobody is 100% whatever they claim. Like you might say, I might say I'm 100% black. I'm pretty sure I got some Indian, Native American in me. I'm pretty sure I got some white in me. I'm pretty sure I got a lot of stuff in me. Everybody has a little bit of something because we have intermingled. But I'm saying like the dude, it starts with the dudes first and foremost to put their foot down on what they will and will not accept. And the men are the ones who allow this stuff to happen from the get-go. Like these laws being written the way they were written, guys allowed that because guys were the ones who were not not ones that look like me. Just so y'all know, not the ones that look like me and Gary. We ain't right these laws, <laughs> but uh, other men allowed these laws to be put on the books. And the only oh, problem man. is, look, the only problem is the laws have not been updated to today's time because we're socially engineering things for a new time, but we're still operating off of old laws. Update the laws for today in today's time. And then, absolutely right. If we're all if we're all equal, well, make the laws where it is equal because we're operating yeah. off a of time when a woman couldn't work, when a woman was not like when we didn't have crime statistics to show that women were committing crimes and stuff like that. No, show it. Domestic violence stuff like the man automatically goes to jail, but we have data that shows that women initiate majority of that. That that conversation mm -hmm. very true. So I'm like, right. just adjust the laws for what it is, and then let's move from there. But it's gonna take men to actually do that. But see, here's the thing, and, and and let me piggyback off of you there. I think that um it's important to have people men that look like you and me and other nationalities to be able to have not only have the conversations, but be in the rooms. And, and and be able to make the um um be in the positions to help get the necessary laws and legislation passed that's going to get updated because clearly as you, you you know to the point of your saying a lot of these laws are on the books go back to the fucking 40s and 50s which is some bullshit right mm -hmm. which is some serious bullshit and clearly, in a lot of these um, red states, they don't really care about people that look like me, you, or Grace, right? Because uh, if they did, 
the laws in the books would be different. Hey, so, hey, Gary, you don't, you're a hole right there because uh, even uh, the blue states don't care about changing the laws. Well, they, I, I think that, I Not think the that the laws that we're focused on, the laws that well, me and you as a man are focused on, they don't care about changing those. Well, they no, I think that there's, I mean, when it comes to the court system, right? Yeah. Uh, now, when it comes to the court system, the court system primarily leans to the mob, right? Yeah. Like, look, one of my business partners a uh, couple of years ago, we were running a, a venture capital company. And, the, and this guy, clean cut guy, always did the right thing and a genuine good dude. The only way he got now he could have he could have paid for all the top lawyers to do all this shit. One day his ex came to him with his kids and she's like, "I can't take care of these kids no more. You need to take care of them." That's how he got his kids, right? She, gave, she just gave up and gave him. That's how he got his kids, right? So and she wasn't a good mother anyway. She would do all sorts of crazy shit, but even for somebody like him. That was that was actually a good dude, good job, respectable, God fearing. All the shit that women talk about, this was this dude. I can, I can, and the I can, only I can. way that he got his kids was again. The, one day his ex came into the office and was like, "I can't take these kids no more. You need to take them." So this is what we living in. This yep. is shit. This is this is what this this is this is what we living in. Um. Another one of my friends, um, a guy by the name of Damon Dash, who's Jay Z's part, who, who was Jay Z's partner in Rockefeller Records years ago, when he went to court with his baby mother, Damon at the time was a millionaire. He was like, I could, I, I could pay for everything, and the judge still gave, he still gave the custody to to the the uh, baby's mother. Yeah, old laws. But I'm just saying, not friendly they're not father friendly. They're not. It's not about being friendly. They're not. They're yeah. not. They're not. So it doesn't matter. So like, well, man if, friendly if, then, if you want right, to go deeper. So, listen, if the father was a piece of shit, I get it. But when you got a father that's actually can provide and has the financial stability to do so, uh, and the mother's a piece Gary. of shit, Look, and the Gary. mother's a piece of shit, then it, it should be a no a, a no brainer. I'll explain. I'll explain the reason why they do what they do, and that's why it's going to take men to advocate for it. First off, they're operating off of how everything was perceived beforehand. They perceive things: fathers being hard on their boys, raising them to be strong; fathers being very strict on their daughters, telling them they can and cannot do certain things. They base it off of that, and now translate it into today's society, where we actually have people that go out and just try to figure out why people do whatever they do. We got people that try to calculate human nature. What's the probability of this person grabbing the mustard in Walmart? That's why they have certain certain things sectioned a certain type of way. You know, when you go around, you catch the vegetables, the bread, and then you get to the meats and whatever. They, they try to just run you in a circle like a cattle. They, they study that. They study that intensively. Well, now we have the data to study between how children do with fathers how they do with mothers, how they do with fathers and mothers. And Grace alluded to it earlier. They're better with yeah, they're worse with their mother. Only difference between a mother and a father being together is they have the exact same chance of going to prison. That's the only difference. Like when they're with they're just their dad and they're with their mom and their dad, their chances of going to prison are the exact same. But the other factors play in that makes with a mom and a dad being greater. But it's not even about the best interest of the child, like the courts like to say all the time, because it's about the money. It's about I, I agree with money. I agree money with the money. Root, mm -hmm. Money is all root of all evil. Out. The judges, the, the court courts, and all them. They they benefit from that. The federal he don't, no, the, the federal don't benefit nothing from it. The it's federal fair. is the one paying out. Every dollar that the state brings yeah. in on, on, on child child support, the federal government gives them even more. Like these judges' retirements are paid off with it. All the clerks, everybody in there, even the costanographer or whatever her name is. I don't know what she does. She's typing stuff. All of them get paid off of what the father brings in in child support. I think it's a costanographer. I'm not sure. I don't know why my thing's going blurry and not. But uh, look, I wanted to hop in and talk to y'all real quick. Like, huh? What, Grace? No, no. Go ahead. Go ahead. 
Nah, because I'm about to. I got to do a live because I got to talk about this terrible ass trip I just took. So you know, I gotta, I gotta do that real quick. Like, but I wanted to come holler at okay. you before I just appreciate you coming in. You know, it's it's all love. Welcome back, back to back to the grind. But thanks for dropping by, Jay. You already know, it, girl. Look, Gary. All right, right bro. Right here. All right, bro. I see you. Tell, tell Gary, you need to bring your butt over there and subscribe to the channel, man. We having good conversations. <laughs> I got you. All right, man. Look, I'm going to holler at y'all, man. Y'all be safe tonight, all right? All right, one. One. Take care. I'll put one. up two. <laughs> but anyway, thanks for coming, Jay. That's from Jay from JVJ Network and Jay Let's Talk. So go ahead, you guys. Make sure you like, subscribe, and share to him because my peoples are my peoples and my peoples become your peoples. And then we all become peoples. That's how it's supposed mm. to be. Right? Right, 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 right. <laughs> you, you know, you can get together, I can get it, we can all, it, but we don't think like that. Everything is what we can do for, you know, what did my dad used to say? Hooray for me and fuck everybody else. Yeah, yeah. You know? <laughs> well, it, I mean, <laughs> nowadays it, it, it's very, um, the mindset is me, me, me. So, and, and, and it's, uh, you know, the easier it is to divide people, it's easier to conquer them. So if people were more thinking together and let's do this together as a team, as a unit, as a group, then it would be much harder for shit to happen. But because people have been conditioned to have this me, me, me mindset, like Jay was mentioning, like oh, there's a lot of, and I think there was another show we did where we mentioned social engineering. There's yeah. a, there's a, 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 an institute in London called the Tavistock Institute. That's what they do. Like all these major Fortune 500 companies, they have a contract with them. So from your cell phone that you buy to the, to the color of your bed sheets, to the type of TV, to the car that you drive, to the places where you want to go and visit, all, they do all of that shit, right? So it's, it's, it's a massive... Uh, it's it's a beyond massive social engineering, uh, for lack of a word, project that's been going on on a number of different levels. We just gotta wake up and and, well, embrace, and that's it. And embrace things that we are not embracing. You, you well, know? you know, some people are some people are ready to wake up and take the blue pill and go down the rabbit hole. Other people don't 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 want to do that. Right, because they're not mentally ready for that. Yeah, or don't have the mental capacity to be exactly. ready for that. Exactly, so, they don't have the mental capacity for that. But with that being said, we still got a, we still got some more to go because not only do I talk about the case, but I also wanted to emphasize on the effects of child abuse. Like everybody. You know, yeah, we talk about it. We're now we're fighting for jail time. But again, and I said it in my last, I don't know if you saw the short where it says embrace. Did you see that one? Embracing Grace talks to a pookie. <laughs> Did you see that one? I don't think. Okay. I have to check it out. Think, okay. So um, I actually got an opportunity to talk to a pookie. And I was just like really trying to like, like bring them up to speed. But with this, what I found out, and you know, we're going to start from the beginning is, is what is the definition of child abuse? Child mm -hmm. abuse is the physical maltreatment or sexual molestation of a child. So right there, if you take that word, I don't even know if I'm supposed to say that word. So I'm just going to keep it to an M. Okay. Yeah. Um, so it is considered if a young lady you know, if, if it was reversed, if the roles were reversed in this story, it would be considered, you know, the M. So mm -hmm. that's abuse. Abuse is when someone causes harm or distress and takes in many forms, ranging from disrespect to causing someone physical and mental pain. It occurs in someone's home, care home, hospital, and public place. It can happen anywhere. It can happen with anybody. That's why you just got to be vigilant of your kids. You got to be you know, my queen last night did a um, podcast about 
just having your kids around anywhere, anyone. Like really making sure that you vet people and just Absolutely. don't drop them off anyway. What did that lady say in the video? She farmed off her kids. I'm like, yeah, wow. yeah, farmed off her kids. Yeah. Hey, Yo, did you catch that? But, but yeah, yeah, oh, well, no. well, yeah, but but it, it's 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 quite interesting because there's a lot of women that do that. They may not they they may not say they farm off their kids, but there there are women who have. Their kids, and if they want to get some, right? Hey, they call this. They call a babysitter or family member, you know, to come and maybe to take the kid for for the night or the weekend or something like that. Damn, but but you see how certain words, like when I did the, I, you got to check it out, Gary. The one when embrace the grace talks to a pookie. I like really went in. I said. So you're telling me you're just a bastard making machine? I mean that one tugged, yeah. Wait, I, no, I I did see that one. Okay, so that's what I thought, but you just you just didn't remember. I'm sorry, so. I'm sorry. I did I did see that one. That was Thursday. A uh, Thursday? I think it was Thursday or something like that. Yeah, 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 yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Thursday. I did see that one because so it, it was like got, five was, five minutes or so. Eight minutes. Eight minutes. Okay, I was close. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> But anyway, um, so yeah, I use that word and it kind of bothered me to have to use that word, but I got that same tingle when she said farmed it out. I'm like, yeah, mm -hmm. there's women actually like dumping their kids off to anybody, don't really know, or leaving them around. Mm -hmm. You just met this, you just met this dude two weeks ago and you already have them around your kids. That's not a you know, the way I move, that's like I gotta. First of all, when, let me tell you something, ladies, and I'm going to drop you a nugget right now. And I really do think that it's important. If you are a single mom and you want to make moves, one, you make sure he has his own place. So you don't have so he you don't have to bring him over to your place where your kids are around. You go to his spot. You, you see how he moves. You see how he, if he can make you feel safe stable and secure first, then that should bring on the sense of, okay, now I can introduce you to my child. Mm -hmm. So I, you know, I guess I'm doing a little reverse embrace the grace because I am an advocate for men, but I got to speak up for my ladies too. Sometimes, you know, if y'all men want an angel in your life, you have to create a heaven for them. And that's how I, that's how I look at it. You know, if you make me safe and make me feel secure and we dating and woo, 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 I'll let you meet my kid, you know, have the honor of you meeting my kid. But some of y'all ladies are letting anybody, any see, person, you, you know, it's just thing, Grace. It's not it's cool. like, And see, Grace, I think that's the thing. There are men out are there. Are you who, my daddy? <laughs> <laughs> there, are, there are men out there who do want to create heaven or who don't have any problem creating heaven for, for their lady. However, the way some of these ladies act, a lot of dudes don't want to put no. up with the bullshit. I, 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 I no, that's why I'm like torn in the middle. I'm advocating yeah. for y'all, but I got to teach you know, my side some game too. I mean, but a lot of dudes ain't going, women want to lose. Dudes want to, you know, a lot of dudes don't want to put up with the, the you know, the, the nonsense, the BS and the drama now. It's like, nah. Like, and another thing I think that single moms who expect another man to come in and take care of them and another seed should be a little bit more humble, should a little bit more grateful, should have a little bit more grace, grace, gracefully, gracious. <laughs> really, it is just like this man is willing to take care of you and your kids. And sometimes mm -hmm. we have two, three, four. I just for that alone, mm -hmm. I'm not saying That's kiss his ass. I'm not saying that, but show some respect. Put some respect on it. Exactly. And that man is willing to clean up your fucking mess from Pookie and Ray Ray. You need to sit your ass down and shut the fuck up. Oh, my exactly. bad. Exactly. Oh, my hey. bad. My bad. I'm trying to stay graceful. Hey, but hey, hey. it is what it is. It is what it is. <laughs> <laughs> you yeah, keep you know, it up on it, and that's what you're supposed to do. I knew a guy; he didn't have no kids, and he got with a chick with three kids. 
And after they all graduated, he sent them to college. That bitch cut him off and never was able to have his own seed because he was so busy taking care of her fucking seed. See that? You see? But look, and, and see, it, it um, you I'm just said that. something. I'm, I'm, I'm no, no. I'm getting emotional because. You just said, you just said something there. So, so last night, no, what's the night? So last night I saw a video. Um, this chick was like, she said she, I think it was five baby daddies. Damn. Oh, she's not five, one, maybe. not two, not, not three. She said not five. Four. And she said, here is the reason why I have five baby daddies. And what? yeah, what I could have had I, I could have had all five with one. You know, somebody and said she me kind a story of, today. Right. She 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 said, I could have had all five with one, but it doesn't pay as much. So wow. she went and broke. Yeah, I swear, I, I'm gonna send you the video. So she was Somebody like, send it to me, but send it, send it. That's yeah, so crazy. she went, she went and broke it down and said, here is the reason why I have five baby daddies and each of these baby daddies, here's how much I get. Now you multiply that by every week and every month and what have you. This is what I get. If I did it five, if I did five with, with one guy, I wouldn't get all that money. I'm like, look at this shit. And you, and, and see, and and if, and fucking some of these women wonder why dudes don't want to fuck with them. And then when they do, let I'm. This is what I'm just talking about now. And when they do decide to imbue with two, three kids and clean up your fucking mess, you want to still, still have an attitude, still have him, still give him your ass to kiss. I mean, there comes a time, and I'm gonna tell you like my homeboy said it to me. Y'all, y'all. Y'all lay, and I'm, look, I'm giving it to y'all from the men. I'm just giving it to y'all females way, and I guess my way. Y'all, we need to just sit down and shut the fuck up sometimes. And be humble, and be thankful, and just go with the flow of things. Trust me, I'm working on that myself. So I'm not preaching nothing that I'm not going through or have gone through, okay? Because, and this is how I try to explain it to people. When you've been driving the car for so long, which is hmm, now you're asking me to relinquish the steering wheel. Not only do I trust, I have to trust you know how to drive. I have to trust that you know where we're going. And I have to trust that you're going to get me safely where we're going. That's a lot. To get, you, you know, I'm still working but, but, on that. Yeah, but Grace, but Grace, in all fairness, I hear what you're saying. And I don't think I think what 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 should happen, in my opinion, is that, as you always hear me say, there's a conversation, but also in the conversation is building the intimacy, the safety and the security. Right. And the guy is supposed to understand, you know, obviously, by you know, by the conversation that you all have where you're at, like what you've gone through and where you're at. Right. Because if it's going to be a team effort. Right. Then we gotta work together. Is, at is this. anybody really in team mode right now? It's all about you know. Well, if it's if if, you if, say if it, so, well, so, if so. they want if if they want a serious relationship, if you will, or develop a serious relationship, then they it means you gotta put in the work, right? And with people with so many options, who wants to put in the work, Gary? But <laughs> see, here's the thing. But then he. You could have, you could have a bunch of options, but what kind of options are those really? It's about quality, not quantity. Thank you, bingo. So let me, with that being said, that was a good closeout. Um, let me <laughs> finish because I gotta give, I gotta give my informative information. Go, go ahead. The three most common forms of abuse is psychological, physical, and sexual. We all know that, but do we really know that? What you may think is not abuse is abuse to somebody else or a child. You know, we have to do what's called mental check-ins with our kids. We have to talk to them. You know, my son one day told me straight up, well, you, didn't, you never asked. I'm like, okay, I'll take that. Mm -hmm. So we got we got to do mental check ins. We got to ask questions. How was school? Who You know, who, are you being bullied? Because that's just the kind of world we live in. You don't want to find out after the fact. One in nine girls 
and one in 53 boys under age of 18 experience abuse. Every nine minutes in the United States, a child is abused. It's getting out of hand, people. We're, mm -hmm. we're fucking right. with our kids, and then our kids are our future. So, I mean, think about it. The, the effects of sexual abuse can be long-lasting and affect the victims in mental health. Victims mm -hmm. are more likely than non-victim to experience the following mental challenges. Four times more likely to develop drug abuse. Four times more likely to experience PTSD as adults. Three times more likely to experience major depressive episode as adults. And the fucked up thing about it, Gary, is there's usually people that you cool with and that you down with and that you would never think that they would do it. It's usually a relative, a religious figure, a coach, or a babysitter. Babysitter. I, I um, I've been, I guess, fortunate to have some close friends that they always feel that they can could, could they could talk to me and confide in me and things. And um, I was startled because three of them actually at, at, at different times told me about they were they were sexually abused when they were younger. Mm -hmm. And I would have never in a million years, never, never, never in a million years would have pictured that from any from any one of them. So I say that to say, I think it's a lot more common than we, we think. Like to admit. Or that we like to admit. So there are a lot of trauma or a lot of un, uh, uh, um, unresolved trauma or, un, or trauma that wasn't dealt with because of that. So, but I think that that is pretty alarming. Like, wow. Like, right, so, so even for the cases that have been reported, mm -hmm. I'm willing to bet there's probably three times as many or four times as many that haven't been. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I read a story last night that you had a, first of all, it makes sense why we don't have a lot of male teachers. This male teacher, he was six, five. He was fine. He was fine as hell. And he was doing good at his job the first couple of years. But then these fast ass girls were making his job so uncomfortable and threatening that he quit. He quit teaching because it, it was the job was stressing him out more than what it was worth mentally because he had to be worried. He would ask the young boys in the class to stay after class if a young lady wanted to talk to him. That's see, how, and, that's how but, bad it got for him. I exactly. Mean, see, and I'm yeah. glad. I'm so glad that you brought that up. I'm so glad that, that you brought that up because the other angle, which you just talked about there, is that you have these fast girls who... Um, I guess now it was probably happening in high school, but I know in, in college, you got these, these, these fast girls that this professor is hot, right? And, you know, they want to, you know, they, they, they want to, what's the word I'm looking for? Make their way to, 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 to get well, the professor to. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they, okay. They, they want to get the perfect A, right? Let me. <laughs> they do. A plus. Right. They right. They want to get the A plus, right? So this particular professor, you know, they feel is hot. So, uh, so, so they get their so so they want to get an A plus, right? So, uh, mm -hmm. so so that's the other angle that um that 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 happens there where um. Yeah, some of these young girls, they 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 want to go have sex with the the, the hot teacher and because some male now male teachers it's, all prey of it, right? And, so and, and some walk away, and then it makes sense why we we need more male teachers because again, the male is going to do a better job because they bring structure. You know, they what? Well, yeah, I have to say better. Fuck it, I'm gonna stick to it. Better, and I'm a woman, and I'm admitting to it. <laughs> You know, I, I've embraced that, but it mm -hmm. is what it is. But 
the child abuse and then the adults turning on the kids. It's just like, mm-hmm. it's getting crazy and it's getting out of control. And you guys just got to get, you got to, you know, got to stay close to your kids. You really do. And pray over them and other kids because this, it's a lot happening, you know, with the bullying. Absolutely. We just, just got to take care of our kids because our kids are our future. And then, our future ain't going to look so good if their future ain't going to look good, right? Absolutely, absolutely. absolutely. Um, did you hear about the other case? Or the, Well, it's not a case yet, but I mean, the other story where um, the mother, I guess, the, well, yeah, so this mother was, I guess, the coach of the cheerleading squad. Mm-hmm. And she was having sex with the daughter's boyfriend. Mm. I'm going to send you the story. No, yeah, send yeah. that. <laughs> yeah. Ooh. Yeah, this is this is this is what the fuck we dealing with. Yeah. <laughs> this is what the and it, and from and from the story it was like the the mom had sex with the son with with the with the daughter's boyfriend something like three 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 hundred times. Wow. Like that was habitual. <laughs> I'm just saying, like I got questions. Okay, I'm 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 gonna work on that. I'm gonna work on that. I mean, I'm really pretty much done here because the thing is, we we really have to understand that the reason why this court system, exactly like you and Jay were saying, these laws have not been updated mm-hmm. for it's the true. world that we're living in today, and it, it is making us not good. Kids are getting not good situations for them and it's just it's it's not cool and these teachers need to you, you know there's going to be a decline of teachers if this keeps happening they make it virtual Something. You, you, yeah yeah but um these women want equal rights but they don't want to take the equal time and that's not right it's either all or nothing but that's what know, it's supposed to be Equal means equality across the board with everything. Absolutely. So I still don't know what I'm going to do Monday. I have a long list, but what you just okay. sent to me, that's 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 interesting. I might, if you can, send it as soon as you can. I'd appreciate yeah, yeah, I'll, it. I'll, I'll, I'll send it to you. All righty. Um, I'm really going to close out because, you, okay. you know, I'm, I'm not going to beat this down to death because we all know it's fucked up. We all know we got to get in there and change the change the law. We got to push to change the law. We got to vote. We have to vote. Even though I know people say that voting doesn't make a change and voting doesn't do anything, we have to pray and we have to yeah. vote. You do. Well, see, I think it's it's a lot of misinformation out there in our community and they they don't want us to vote. I t- like there was a public service announcement that was done here um couple of years ago and um and um I can't remember I think it was I saw it on YouTube and um this older white lady she was like the reason why I go out and vote is because you young people don't go out and vote right okay. so you know in order so, for things so, to change Gary we have to change them out <laughs> well we this is what I'm saying is that it, it's clearly an older white person or, mo- or a lot of those conservatives, they're not going to vote for the things that you and I want, right? So I'm saying that we need to have our people more aware of the, our people need to go out there and vote, right? Our people need to go out there and see our local politicians. Now, I can tell you from experience that when I've gone to see my local politician, whether it was here in New York State or up in Albany or up in DC, when you walk in, there's a sheet that you sign. The secretary looks up and so when you go in and see the the particular congressman or congresswoman, the secretary would let them know if you're either registered Republican or Democrat or if you're an independent. Because Mm -hmm. if you're a Republican or Democrat and that uh, congressperson is like they're gonna know if they're gonna need to sell you, right? So mm-hmm. if they're a Democrat, if the Congressperson, let's say, is a Republican and you're a Democrat, 
then he knows that he you you're not going to vote 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 for him, right? Yeah. If if you're a Republican, then he knows that you're going to that you you're definite vote. But now if you're an independent, your vote can go either way because now he has to really listen to what the hell you're saying. <laughs> yep, because you don't know what which side he's going to vote on. So you this have is what to I'm saying. So and our people, I'm and I just say that as an example, but. Our people need to know and be aware. Our voting does matter. They just want us to think that it doesn't. Okay, so it's people like you and me and Jay and all these other content creators. It could be up to us to be one form of communication to let the get the word out there. Absolutely, absolutely. You have to get we. They have to get out, and especially in the local elections. The local elections is That's the local elections is more important than the presidential election the, because the local elections is where you get the fucking uh judges and the school boards and all that that that's where you got to vote mm -hmm. that's where you got to really come out and vote absolutely i agree with you but um gary go ahead and do your final thoughts again uh th thank you for coming i appreciate it i'm still i'll let you know what i'm gonna do monday i was really so absorbed with this topic that i, I haven't exactly. thought ahead yet but i'm um, go exactly. ahead your final thoughts um listen uh <laughs> wow um my final thoughts with this is that listen um just all you parents out there um just be mindful of who your kids are around I think keep an eye on your the teachers, not only the teachers, but anybody that you have your kids around. Um, um, I think it, it's 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 very important. Um, always, you know, communicate and talk to your kids. Um, and and for the for these for these single moms out there that have sons, make sure you talk to them, right? And here's the thing: a lot of these. 13 and 14 and 15 year old kids nowadays is different than when we were smaller, right? Now these kids, 12, Amen. 13, 14, they're oh, damn near six feet tall, right? So, so you really have to talk to your kids, right? You really have to talk to your male kids on, on, on how school is going and if there's things that they need to talk to you about and stuff, really have the open conversation and dialogue. Because there are a lot of predators, there are a lot of these women out there in, in you know, that are in these schools that 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 may prey on prey on your son, right? Um, and they may do it in the most nonchalant way, but you just want to be aware of it. And like I said, these kids now they have this, they have the 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 height of a man, right? So you know, so it, it's we're in different times now. Um, so uh, y'all can catch me on The Real Discussion every Friday uh, from 8 p.m. to 8 p.m. Eastern to 10 p.m. Eastern. And uh, you could catch us on Facebook, YouTube, um, Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram. You can either search for The Real Discussion with Rock Logic on Facebook, YouTube, and Instagram, or you could search for Boardwalk Global Media on Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. And again, thank you, Grace. I enjoy being here with you every every week, you know, to have these wonderful conversations and discussions. And thank you for coming. So again, guys, I'm Grace with Embrace the Grace. And my final thought is, is just, you know, we gotta have family time. We gotta have family time. We got a chicken. I was watching a live on the net P, um, P network about having more family meetings, eating more together at the table. That's important. I remember I used to have dinner with my family till I was 14. Then I, when I was 14. It just, you know, I was, I was too busy, it, but the, you know, you don't forget that. That's important. Mm -hmm. That's important. And ladies don't just bring your, your children around just anybody. You, you got to just sit down somewhere. And if you find that guy that's willing to take you and your children, be humble. Embrace him. Be grateful for him. Because he ain't got that shit to be doing. Especially if he's got kids. He's got his own kids to worry about. Now you got to worry about your kids too, but you still want to. Well, anyway, we're not going to get into that. 
<laughs> you guys can find me on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, Snapchat, Embracing the Grace. Um, definitely check me out every Monday from eight to eight to 10. And, you know, I started something new calling story time with embrace the grace. So when I have a, a little story to tell, I got something to say, I'll just jump on YouTube and, and do my thing. Thank you for your support, like subscribe and share, and we'll see you next Monday. Peace guys. Peace. Thank you for Peace. coming. Thank you for coming guys.